Hello, uh, in this video I'll be talking about writing a function rule. Um, keep in mind uh, we're going to be writing a function rule based on some word problems. A uh, function rule basically is an equation. Um, when you're writing an equation based on a word problem, I do expect you to reread the word problem several times. The first time, just read it the whole way through. The second time, read it looking for a specific piece of information that will help you um, come up with an equation. So I'll uh, start, off, start us off here. You can estimate the temperature by counting the number of chirps of the snowy tree cricket. The outdoor temperature is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, more than one-fourth the number of chirps the cricket makes in one minute. What is a function rule that represents this situation? I do not expect you to have any idea how to go th about solving this problem when you read it the first time through. Uh, now as I go through it the second time through, I'm going to highlight some specific information see how we can um, start writing a function rule. So uh, the outdoor temperature is... Okay, so that's important. So uh, we're going to say T is going to equal the outdoor temperature. Okay, is. So we want T equals 40 degrees more than. 40 degrees more than. When you say something more than, like 5 more than 12, it means 12 plus 5. So I know we're going to have to have a plus 5 somewhere. Okay, maybe it would help if I did this in different colors. So that is the plus 5, right? All right, more than one-fourth the number of chirps that Cricut makes in one minute. So we're going to need another variable here. So we'll say C equals number of chirps. Per minute. Okay, so we need one fourth the number of chirps. So one fourth c. What is the function rule that represents the situation? So I think we have it here. The outdoor temperature is forty. Oops, I put five. I don't know why I wrote five. See, that's why we reread, right? So as we reread, 40 degrees more than 40 more than one-fourth the number of chirps. One-fourth number of chirps. What is a function rule that represents this situation? There it is right here. Let's try another one. Uh, a landfill has 50,000 tons of waste in it. Each month it accumulates an average of 420 more tons of waste. What is a function rule that represents the total amount of waste after m months? Okay, so it already has um, identified one variable for us. m is the amount of months. Um, what is the function rule that represents the total amount of waste? So let's identify one more variable here. We'll say w equals uh, total waste. Okay. So a landfill already has 50,000 tons of waste in it. That's probably important. Okay, because we are going to need to find the total amount. So uh, we're going to have to have 50,000 somewhere. So we might want to even start with 50,000. So the total amount of waste is going to equal 50,000. And then each month it accumulates an average of 420 more tons of waste. So 420 per month means so so we're gonna have to add 420 more tons of waste each month, right? So we're gonna have to add 420 more for each month. So for instance, if it was one month, it would be 420. If it was two months, it would be 840. And what is a function rule that represents the total amount of waste after m months? So total amount of waste equals the amount we start with plus 420 more per month. That's it. Function rule done. Next one. A kennel charges $15 per day to board dogs. Upon arrival, each dog must have a flea bath that costs 12 bucks. Ready function rule for the total cost of n days of boarding plus a bath. Okay. So a variable would be T for total cost or C for cost. Um, it already says N is uh, means days. 
so we don't need to say that again. Um, so, upon arrival, each dog must have a flea bath that costs 12 bucks. So we got to start with that because the dog comes in, got to start with 12 bucks. So, T is going to equal that 12 bucks. And then a kennel charges $15 per day. So 15 per day, That's that means 15D, right? Because if it's one day, it's 15. If it's two days, it's 30, and so on. So we're multiplying 15 times days. <clears throat> so uh, right, oops, I wrote D. They want to use N. So I'll use N. There, 15 times N. So we're adding $15 per day. Write a function rule for the total cost of boarding plus a bath. Well, here's the boarding, here's the bath. That's the total cost. Uh, so here's our function rule. Now, how much does a 10 day stay cost? Um, let's figure that out. Total cost equals 12 plus 15 times 10 for a grand total of 150 plus 12, which is 162 bucks. Now, I wouldn't answer it like T equals because that isn't part of the question. It's just saying how much does a 10 day stay cost? You could say $162 for 10 days. You could even just say $162. But in no in no part of the answer should it say uh, T equals because T is something that we invented to, to make our function rule. Okay, uh, so this is the answer. So in the work you can have a T, but not in the answer. Next one. Write a function rule for the area of a rectangle whose length is five feet more than its width. What is the area of the rectangle when its width is nine feet? Anytime they ask you about a shape or anything that you can draw, you should draw it. So I will draw it. Here is a rectangle. Area whose rectangle of a rectangle whose length is five more than its width. Okay, well here is its width. Its length is now five more. We know that the formula for area of a rectangle is length times width, or base times height. Um, since in the problem they say the words length and width, we're going to write length and width. So the area is going to equal length, which we determine based on our picture is w plus 5. Um, times the width, which is w. And so here's our function rule. Another way you could write that if you wanted to, but you don't have to, is w squared plus 5w. But for those of you who don't understand that yet, that is just fine for now. Um, keep in mind that you could not write it without these parentheses here because um, if you write w plus 5w, that means this w would only be multiplied to the 5, but we know that this w has to be multiplied to this whole side, right? Now getting to the second part of the question, what is the area of the rectangle when its width is 9 feet? Well, that's easy enough. Area equals, and we're just going to use from this um, equation that we made, uh, we have w plus 5, so 9 plus 5 times 9. So that's going to be 14 times 9, which is 126, is that right? Maybe, 81 plus 45, 126, yep, sounds good. And now we want to figure out units and how to answer the problem. What is the area of the rectangle when its width is 9 feet? So the area is 126 square feet, or feet squared. All right, and that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.